Now I am going to explain about the speed. The speed is the uh, rate at which a given distance is traveled. Or in other words, we can say speed is the distance traversed in a unit time. These are very important theory parts because these are the foundation. You have to uh, remember these things carefully. And you can see this equation for calculating the speed. Speed equals to distance divided by time. So uh, we are measuring distance in meters and time in seconds. If we divide distance uh, by time, we can uh, generate the meters per second ms minus one unit for the uh, measuring of speed that is the very basic thing about the speed and that uh, the other thing is about the speed belongs to scalar quantity because when we are uh, measuring speed we are not considering the specific direction or direction so there is another trick to find out whether this speed is a scalar or vector quantity uh, that is the formula we are calculating speed by using speed equal distance divided by time formula. So we are using distance to calculate the speed. So uh, distance belongs to scalar quantity and time also belongs to scalar quantity. Scalar quantities divided by scalar quantities means again generate a scalar quantity. That is it. Sometimes uh, this speed of the object may be uniform. That means the object moves with a constant speed without changing the magnitude of the speed but uh, some in some occasions objects can move with increasing speed or with decreasing speed so when uh, when we are measuring speed of an object we can use the speed equal distance divided by time formula when the object moves with the uniform velocity or when the object is uh, moving at a constant speed otherwise that means uh, when the object moves with increasing speed or decreasing speed then we have to calculate the mean speed or average speed how do you calculate that mean speed or average speed you can calculate uh, mean speed or average speed by the formula given in this tube mean speed or average speed equal to total distance traveled divided by total time duration again mean speed or average speed equal total distance traveled divided by total time duration. This is very important because uh, we need to understand the formula for speed and mean speed. There are two formulas. They are totally different if you can see deeply. The other thing is speed equals distance divided by time formula is used to measure the uniform speed or constant speed. When the object is moving with the increasing speed or decreasing speed, we are calculating mean speed or average speed. At that time, we cannot measure the direct speed. So we have to use the mean speed or average speed equal total distance traveled divided by total time duration formula. That is it. That is the, the other important factor regarding the speed. But the unit, standard international unit, SI unit of speed or mean speed or average speed, all the uh, physical quantities take the same unit, that is meters per second. I discussed uh, about this unit a little while ago. Speed or mean speed or average speed or constant speed, all the quantities takes the meters per second unit, that is the psi unit of measuring speed and the other physical quantity is the velocity we are measuring this velocity with the help of displacement so we can say the velocity of an object is the uh, rate of change in displacement remember that the rate of change in displacement of an object is called the velocity of that object so we are using the formula velocity equals displacement divided by time to calculate the velocity you can understand the physical nature of this velocity i mean scalar quantity or vector quantity this velocity belongs to vector quantity because we are using displacement to calculate the velocity here you can see formula displacement belongs to vector quantity so time scalar quantity displacement divided by time means vector quantity divided by scalar quantity so then there generates a velocity and that velocity belongs to vector quantity that is it remember that this velocity has both magnitude and direction so you have to mention the direction when you are answering the questions regarding velocity you have to mention the magnitude and its direction its moving direction and the other thing is about the psi unit standard international unit of 
measure in velocity. I told you about the formula for calculating calculating velocity. That is velocity equals displacement divided by time. So displacement is measured in meters. Time is measured in seconds. So meters divided by seconds means meters per second. M s minus one again. So velocity also have the SI unit of ms minus 1 meters per second. You can understand the units of the distance and displacement take the same SI unit that is meters. And the other thing is speed and velocity also take the same SI unit that is meters per second. That is it. Here also we are calculating constant or uniform velocity by using this formula. So uh, there may be occasions uh, where uh, increase in velocity and decrease in velocity. Let's see how to calculate that increase in or decrease in velocities. When you are measuring constant velocity or uniform velocity, you can directly use velocity equals displacement divided by time formula. There is no any issue about that. But when an object is moving with an increase in velocity or with a decrease in velocity, you have to calculate the mean velocity, not the constant velocity or velocity. Remember these things and understand carefully when the object is moving with an increase in velocity or decrease in velocity you have to calculate the mean velocity okay how do you calculate the mean velocity mean velocity of the object is equal to the displacement that means total displacement divided by total time this formula is very equal to the mean speed formula it's the unit of mean velocity also meters per second ms minus one it does not change and the other thing is you can see there are lots of calculations here you can try these calculations at home and uh, we can move to the next topic that is acceleration acceleration is the rate of change of velocity can you understand what i am saying rate of change of velocity is known as the acceleration that means i told you a little while ago there may be increase in velocity or decrease in velocity of an object that is the term of acceleration increase in velocity that is called acceleration you can remember these things and keep remember these things rate of change of velocity is known as acceleration and there are two types of accelerations you can understand that decrease in velocity and increase in velocity rate of change of increase in velocity is known as the acceleration and the other thing is rate of change of decrease in velocity is known as deceleration and there's a formula to calculate the acceleration and deceleration and you can see this tilt it says the acceleration is equal to the change of velocity divided by time taken acceleration equals to the change of velocity divided by time taken so here change of velocity may be positive or negative if the change of velocity is positive i mean if the velocity increase in with time that is the acceleration this change of ve velocity may be negative when the object is moving with the decrease in velocity then that is called deceleration it's very easy if you can clearly follow these instructions and the other thing is about the si unit si unit of measuring acceleration uh, we, we are using velocity to calculate the acceleration so velocity is measured in meters per second and divide by time in second ms minus 1 divided by s means ms minus 2 that means acceleration have the uh, si unit of ms minus 2 meters per squared second that is the unit of acceleration and deceleration also have this unit this si unit because acceleration and deceleration both are calculated by using this same formula so it does not change and the other thing there may be some occasions that we need mean velocity i told you the formula to calculate mean velocity sometimes you may need to calculate the displacement when the object is moving with increase in velocity or decrease in velocity at that time you have to calculate the mean velocity okay uh, there's a formula to calculate the displacement when an object is moving with increase in velocity or decrease in velocity. This is the formula given in the tube. Uh, displacement equals to mean velocity multiplied by time. We can simply say uh, displacement is equal to the mean velocity into time. That is it. Again, there are some uh, calculations. These calculations may help to increase your knowledge, increase your ability increase your problem solving ability also. Try to take the answers for these examples and practice questions by yourself.